M0 FXB ICOM 7300 Mark 1. I just want to show you, you don't actually have to purchase the Mark 2 to get an external large screen that you're seeing here in the background. And we've got full control, okay? Full control here. If you look at the radio as I tune, or I can go to the band and I can select a different band. And let's try again. That's 216. You can see the full control of this radio and we can go back to 40. And if we want, we can run the tuner, but I'm not going to because we're just on our, our loop by Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Literally just poking out of the window. So we can run this setup just with a Raspberry Pi. Now I've got this Pi 500. I really like these because the keyboard's built in. It's, I think they should have put a mouse pad there. But anyway, we've got a, a, a mouse that plugs into it. It all came as one. And because of it, we can run... Uh, we can run our Raspbian software. Now to load WFU, we literally just opened a new window and we typed in a command here into this window here and it uploaded. And I'll link the command in because I'm not I don't I can't remember it off the top of my head now. We also ran another one called W sorry FL Digi which decodes CW. So with the 7300, you can't decode to W, you can decode RTTY. So we've already loaded FL Digi. When you open a program, you just go F L D I G I. I've made a configuration video of this. Just enter and it should open FL Digi, which it has. And FL Digi decodes not just CW, um, but RTTY and many other modes. It does use a serial connection, so there's a USB connection going from the Pi, okay, in my case the back of here, into the radio, and then you have to select and configure the, the COM ports that it uses. And FL Digi in itself um, has a waterfall here as well. And I've only just been discovering this because I just started thinking, you know, if we're if we really don't want to purchase the 7300 Mark II, let's just close this one down. How can we get near to it? Now, on the new model, there's an Ethernet connection running as a server. When, when it's running as a server, you can go off and you can get your laptop and you can connect to your radio uh, using, using Wi-Fi and not being at your home address. Well, this is the amazing thing about WFU. If you go to settings, and then go to server and I've enabled it we're actually running as a server so I can now go off to a different computer and as long as I'm on the same Wi-Fi network and running WFU and it will also let allow me to connect to SDR control which is the app by marker I've effectively or I am running a server thanks to WFU and the setup process is so it's just literally server enable Give yourself a username and password and it starts to work um, so we're running a server we can decode cw and many other modes we've got full screen control here and we haven't had to purchase um, a 7300 mark ii i'll put the commands in um, if you haven't got a raspberry pi definitely invest in one you could get a pi 3b for about 25 pounds second hand now you've got plenty of usb connections to connect to now uh, to get your mouse on there and you know other peripherals and you can connect it via wi-fi this is connected via wi-fi at the moment this pi 500 or you can plug your ethernet into it either way uh, but obviously that you're trying to reduce it to a point where it's very portable so this screen you can buy for 35 pound i actually use it um, for several different applications um, screen th uh, this is about a hundred pound for the Pi 525 of these. You can you're going to be able to pick up the 7300 Mark II now if you shop around easily for 600 pound I would say. Um, and we're just on a loop of course, so we're not really listening LSB. Normally I do LSB, but the the nice thing about the Digi mode, and if you look at my loop, I have to turn turn the knob here. Let me show you. This is a loop by Paul Oscar Mike. Zero Echo Tango, you turn this black knob here and there's the loop there <laughs> poking out the window. As you turn, see that? You can see it swiping across when it's at the peak. 
your tune. You don't even have to run the antenna tuner now that a loop is limited on power. I think I wouldn't want to push it much past, I wouldn't go past 20 watts. But this video is, I do not, is going to be called, I do not need a 7300 Mark II. And remember, we, we could run Ham Clock. Have you heard of Ham Clock? That's an amazing program that you can put on here. So we just go to chat GPT and we just ask it, what's the command to upload Ham Clock? So Ham Clock, so it gives me these commands. The first one is sudo update upgrade. So we just go copy, open the terminal, right click and then paste. Click enter, and let it do that, okay, then we'll go back to chat GBT. The next command is this one here, this git clone one, copy, and let's give me all the commands that we need. Okay, we're going to copy this one next, go back, to make sure the other terminal has finished. Yeah, I know I shouldn't have so many open, but I have. Um, just going to click, click yes here and then enter and it's basically updating everything to make sure it can, it can run ham clock I mean, it's great learning as well if you want to learn you know, how a, a Raspberry Pi or Linux system ticks of course we do WSJTX no problem so I think I'll leave it there while everything's uploading and we're going to be running several programs but remember because of chat GPT you can run you can pretty much use Linux now and just use it to talk you through step by step but the main point of this video is we can see W decode it already RTTY decodes we've got a, a, we're running a server so we can connect somewhere else in the house and um, and link to this radio operate this radio even when we're outside the house as long as we use the IP address of the house and open up the ports in our router and again chat GPT if you tell it the model of your router it will talk you through step by step how to do that bye for now